telling you the time has come when Dave Boston has got to be stopped. Where was you, Jack? You're right, Jack. Now's the time to act. Dave Boston's on the loose again. Come on! Boston's for his last job. We'll settle him. What do you got to say for yourself, Austin? From the looks of things, talking won't do me much good. You'll talk, all right. Blindfold him. We're taking him to the cave. What's this all about? Dave Austin, if you ever wish to leave here, you will answer all questions freely and fully. Savvy? Did you or did you not murder the man found last night in the back room of the palace bar? I did not. Sit down. You admit the man was dead? No, I don't. And furthermore, if that's why I'm Yes or no is all that's wanted from you. This is your last warning. Did you or did you not, on the night of the 13th, take two horses from Joe's livery stable? Yes, I did, but I can explain that, but... Shut up! Didn't you substitute for those horses two bucking cayuses that threw their owners into a watering trough? Yes, sir. And on the afternoon of the 14th, didn't you loosen the cinches on all the horses hitched in front of the palace? Yes, sir. And on the next day, do you admit you introduced a beef critter into the living room of Miss Lizzie Perkins? Yes or no? Sure. Gentlemen, Dave Austin stand before us, convicted by his own words, guilty as sin. 
It therefore seems we have enough on him to be sure he'll be a loyal and faithful member of this band. All in favor of accepting him to membership in the ancient order of Mavericks, say aye. 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 Contrary-minded? Raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to uphold the Constitution and bylaws of this order? I'd kind of like to know what they are first. Do you solemnly swear to uphold the Constitution and bylaws of this order? All right. I'll swear. It is so ordered. From now on, your mischief-making days are over. <laughs> Take him, boys! <laughs> Your dad's hurt and wants to see you. Yeah. <laughs> Quit clowning. I'm a member now. <laughs> but I mean it. He's been stabbed. He may be dying. All right, all right. Save that one for the next guy. But it's straight, Dave. I wouldn't joke about a thing like that. Where is he? In his office. You'd better hurry. Who did it? Didn't he say anything? Yes, he said something about a man that throws a knife with his left hand. Well, that's something to go on. Why aren't you out looking for him? Me and what army? That killer was one of the gang that hangs out at Sprague's Cantina. Then you know where to go? Yeah, and I know how I'd come back. They warned your dad to stay out of that district. And that's the answer. You give me the authority to wear this badge. And I'll bring back the man who did it, wherever he is. I know how you feel, Dave, but the toughest gang on the border hangs out of Sprague's Cantina. And no law officer in the world could go in there and come out alive. That's my business. All I want is the right to wear this badge. That probably could be arranged, but I'd hate to see you do it. You would rather see my dad give his life to uphold the law and do nothing about it. No, Dave. Well, I'd hate to see you throw your life away. I'm right fond of my life, and no one's going to take it away from me without a whale of an argument. We're with you in this, Dave. Just say the word. This is my job alone. I know where to go and who to look for. If I need any help, you'll hear from me. That's a crazy thing for him to do. I sure admire a man that's as crazy as that.
much. Uh, I'm glad to see you all back this time. Well, there's nobody to stop us from coming back, you fat old lovers. Say, you're ready for the market right now. Let him ride with us a couple of times. That'll take the fat off of him. Yeah. <laughs> well, fat's all right. I don't mind it. Yeah? Hey, where are you going? Come back with us. Yeah. Hey, cut it off. What? Hello, Jim. Everything all right? Sure. We sold the herd for a fine price across the line. And we brought another herd back with us from over there. I told you not to touch anything on the other side of the border. That's our market. We need their goodwill. Now, I'm warning you, guys. Now you take that herd back to where it belongs. Hatfield, I worked like a dog getting them across the line and we're not taking them back. Who do you think you are? I'm the man who gives orders. And if you're smart, you'll be the one who takes them. That was a dirty trick. You'll pay for that someday. Hatfield never pays for nothing. <laughs> Here, the boss. Looks like someone I've seen before. Now, don't prove anything. What do you have? Right now, I crave some food and lots of it. I've had a long, hard ride and no time to eat. After that, I might bed down with you for a spell. Yes, sir. See what you can find out. I've heard this is a good place to rest if a fellow's been having too much public attention. It's very quiet here. The public don't bother us. I'll see that you're taken care of. Hello, son. Hello, father. Come on, sit down. I'll talk to you. Where you been? I'm business. What kind of business? Do you think I'm a child? Must I run to you and ask, can I do this, can I do that? No. Decide for myself. You're young and foolish. You think it great to be a wild, swaggering bandit, don't you? But it isn't, son. Believe me, it isn't. Save it to later, will you? This is a good business. And I've built it for you. All our family have been tavern keepers, and it should be the life for you. A good life. Forget it, Pop. Get me some food, will you? These bandits, you think so great, will die someday by a bullet, knife, or a rope. Maybe not tomorrow, maybe not the next day, but someday, sure. <laughs> I'll go to the kitchen and get something to eat. What does a fella have to do around here to get something to eat? I ain't never seen you before. I never saw you before either. But I'm not complaining about it. Don't get funny. When a stranger shows up here, he declares himself. I declare myself in only one way. Yeah? What's that? In smoke. Oh. Tough hombre, huh? Me tough? Where I come from, they call me a tenderfoot. Hey, listen, fella. I don't like fooling. Who said I was fooling? Take it easy, Butch. you keep out of this, Hatfield. You know, it ain't good to ride a horse with too tight a rein. That depends on who's doing the riding.
pretty fast, aren't you? That all depends upon what you call fast. Pretty bad medicine to have for an enemy. I can take care of myself. Why don't you give the games a whirl? This might be your lucky night. It might be. There seems to be a conspiracy around here to keep me from eating. Can you help me? What are you doing in a place like this? Don't you see? I see a lot more than you think. Well, uh, what would you like to eat? That's good. But the chili's nice. That'll do. And some coffee. Say, Butch, how do you hit Snake Canyon that you were talking about? Luger, give me a pencil and a piece of paper. I'll draw you a map. You're so helpless, you get lost in your own backyard. Here. Why don't you let me help you? What makes you think I need help? I don't think it, I know it. Hello, you honey boys. Let me go. Here, here, wait a minute. You shouldn't have to put up with that kind of stuff. Who are you? Don't you think you can trust me? My name's Jean Williams. My brother Don and I stopped here one night. He was on his way to buy some cattle and was carrying a lot of money. Several thousand dollars in traveler's checks. There was a fight that night in the gambling room and they told me a man had been shot and that Don did it. They were going to lynch him, but Mr. Hatfield helped him escape. Why didn't you go with him? I wanted to, but they told me I'd better stay here until Don was safe and could send for me. But that's been over a week ago, and I haven't heard a word. I had to stay on here so Don would know where to reach me. Mr. Hatfield was kind enough to get me this job. But I'm terribly worried about my brother. Did anyone know your brother had this money? Yes. He asked the proprietor, Mr. Sprague, to cash one of the checks. That was a warning. Find your women in the cantina or in the kitchen and leave her alone. You seem pretty good at tossing a knife. I never miss, except when I want it. I'd like to see just how good you really are. You mightn't like it if you found out. How is he any better than I am? You won't stand and talk with me. You haven't any right to question what I do. Who am I talk to my own affair? I guess that lets you know where to head in. She'll change her tune before long. You'd better mind your own business. Sure. I'll mind my own business, all right.
sense of humor run away with your common sense. He thinks he's gonna get that money from William. Even I couldn't do that. Him and Hatfield are sure hot for that bank all right. Who well, wouldn't be? If I thought there was a chance I'd go with him. But there's no use worrying about it. I got Jake and Pete on guard out there. Don't you reckon you better trail along anyway? If I did, who'd watch Hatfield? that was here last night. Where is he? I'll There's been no word from my brother. Sorry, but there hasn't been a line. Perhaps the law is so close on his heels that he's afraid to stop.
boss says he's through being gentle with you. Sign these checks. Why don't you sign them yourself? You stole them. I don't happen to be handy enough with a pen. It's too bad. You've stolen $12,000 and it isn't worth a nickel to you. Maybe it was a coyote. Yeah, maybe not. Look. That looks like we lost him. You scout around here and I'll go back and see if I can pick up his trail. Right. I'm not signing these checks and you can't make me. We can and will. Say, so what do you suppose my sister's gonna do when I don't get back? She'll go to the law and then where'll you be? <laughs> don't worry about your sister going to the law because she thinks the law's coming for you. For murder. Murder? Why I never killed anybody? Sure you didn't. But how are you gonna prove it? Well, even your sister thinks you did it. Don't forget, your sister's still with us. That's you, Pete. You're Don Williams, aren't you? Yeah, who are you? Never mind that. If you want to get out of here, step lively. Take this. I want to thank you, but what do we do now? We've got plenty to do. I'm kind of worried about my sister back at the cantina. Let's get back there. She's a lot safer there than you'd be. Now, you listen to me, and we'll come out of this on top. Now, here's what I want you to do.
Where's my horse? How do I know? Where have you been? Jake and me saw somebody and went after him. Did you catch him? No. Where's Jake? Still looking, I guess. You better take me back to the cantina. What about Williams? He's not in there. And the sooner we get back and report, the better off we're going to be. Maybe you're right. Hatfield? Oh, he's in there. Mr. Hatfield! Don't come stampeding in here like that. That stranger, he's a sheriff. You sure? Yes, I saw his badge. He must be after my brother. Yeah, I guess he is. But don't worry. He's the same as being an ex-sheriff right now. I know. He's after my son, Dante. Stop fluttering like an old hen. Dig up all the boys and send them in here. me to uh, handle Mr. Sheriff for you? No. This is one sheriff that I want to entertain for a while. Okay. I wanted to see you. Yes, I expect you did, Mr. Sheriff. Get in there. What do you mean, Sheriff? It was contemptible of you, pretending to be my friend, so I'd betray my brother to you. No one has to betray your brother. I know where he is. It was all a frame-up to get his money. There wasn't any murder. I found where they were holding him and took him to a safe place. Then I came back for you. What's contemptible about that? What's the matter? I told Hatfield you were a sheriff because I thought you were after Don. He's going to kill you. That does sort of spill the beans. I wasn't ready to show my hand yet. Now get this, boys. All you've got to do is to follow my lead. Don't worry about me anymore. I don't deserve it. No one can blame you for fighting to protect your brother. But I've put you in terrible danger. You haven't a chance. There's always a chance when you can outthink the other fellow. But you don't... I'll try and get you out of here before something happens. Hatfield evidently isn't wasting any time. He's probably got guards posted all around the place. It's not going to be very easy to get you out of here. Well, 
uh, stranger turned out to be a sheriff. And he's after you. What a pal. You'd throw me to the wolves in a minute, wouldn't you? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm with you, miss. Yeah, I reckon we'll hang together. What do you mean to do? Keep him covered every minute and uh, follow my lead. I'm going to take a long chance. You stay here, but be ready to ride. Well, what is it? What are you going to do? I'm going to get you out of here. What do you think has happened to Don Williams in his bankroll, sucker? Come on in, Austin. I've been expecting you. Well, you know me, eh? I knew you all the time. Then what were you waiting for? My waiting days are over. You're the one doing the waiting now. For what? To die. Sometime between now and sundown, you're going to get it. But you won't know where or how. In the back, most likely. Until then, enjoy yourself. Go anywhere you please, only don't go too far away. And if my friends seem so interested in your movements as to embarrass you, why, it's only because of their loyalty to me. In other words, have a big time while I live. Exactly. Why all the dramatic? I sat in jail once waiting to be hung. I would have been too, but I escaped. Since then, I've always wanted to see if a lawman could take his own medicine. The sheriff who put me there was too impatient. He wouldn't wait. Well, you stuck a knife in him. We won't go into that now. But I'll lay you a bet, Austin, two to one, that you'll crack under the strain. You'll lose, Hatfield. Just like you've lost Don Williams. What do you know about him? I know he's got $12,000. I also know that you want it. And what's more, you're never going to get it. And why not? You were too busy watching me to see something crooked in your own backyard. Well, I'll bite. Where is William? I'm just a guest here. How could I know? Well, it won't take me long to find out. But I'm betting that Williams is right where I left him. No, he isn't. He's gone. I was talking about the money, like you said. I heard a noise, and I went to investigate. Somebody came from behind and knocked me out. Who? Who could it have been? Two of Butcher's guards were outside. Something funny going on out of the cave. Meaning what? Danny was there and somebody else, too. Jake and me chased this other armory, leaving Danny alone. He come out of the cave acting like he'd knifed somebody and tells me Williams is gone. He's up to something, all right. Williams is gone from the cave. Better keep double crosses. Men, come on.
to see me, Butch? Maybe you've got a little explaining to do. You'll do all the explaining. Get out of here. Not that way. Out the back. I reckon you know I want you, Hatfield. So did your father. And you know what happened to him. We're both on the spot, Hatfield.
they'll kill you. Take my horse. I came for him, and I'm not leaving without him. I want him more than you do, and I've got him. All right. Come on, boys. Rush him. Hombre. He's the man who killed Dad. Well, at least you left enough of them to hang. I made sure of that. Don't you think you better save some of this for Austin? He deserves it more than I do. You timed it just right, Don. Come on, we better take care of this fellow. Ha, ha, ha. 